Hi guys, my name is Jana. For those of you who don't know me yet, I changed my intro just a little bit. I wanted to show you something. I have three different channels. Channel 1 is my channel for the advanced beaters. This middle channel is the channel for the beginning beaters. And my third channel is for those who, of you who would like to be challenged. Beginning beaters. If you came here, just pause the video for a second. And click on my little icon. If you never beat it before, then click on view. Choose all this first, and you can see where the basic beginning beating starts. Now, I'm working my way up to get a little bit more advanced every time with every video. And as you can see, there's plenty of them on there. In about three months, you should be up to the level where you can do any of them. Just choose one, pick one, and you're good to go. You can just go back to browse videos to see the latest videos. And if you really like my channel, then please subscribe. Thank you. Let's start beating now. Hi guys, I've been away for a couple of days and I went to Germany to go bead with Sabina Lippert and we were doing the pendulum uh, necklace and this is what it looks like on the bottom. This is what it looks like on the top and it needs to become a necklace, of course. So all these parts need to be connected. Unfortunately, I can't show you what the finished project uh, will look like until I finish this because I was beating in the train home and I lost my tutorial papers. So I hope some lucky beater will find it and uh, enjoy it. And I gotta get back to doing these so I don't forget how I did them. So, um, that will be something that I need to finish after this. I also got one of Sabine's books. And as you can see, she does wonderful craft. I wanted to teach myself to, you know, to a little bit more of a romantic style to my um, beading. So this is really a wonderful book. I will leave a link to the website of Sabine. And you can see this is this book is in German, and if you maybe you can see if this is available in English, or uh, check out her Etsy shop. I will leave a couple of links underneath it. She's really wonderful, and uh, also a wonderful person. I had a lot of fun while I was there, but um, yeah, you gotta come home. Well, I can't uh, live with her. I asked, but she wouldn't let me. So I guess. Uh, we're back home and we're going to do our own thing. So I'm going to try to do um, odd peyote stitch and I'm going to try and embellish that a little bit to make that a little bit more romantic. So that's going to be my first inspired by Sabine project that I'm going to try. I don't know if I'll su succeed, but I'm going to try. Okay, anyway, uh, for the odd peyote stitch, if you already did the even peyote stitch, then for the odd peyote stitch, you also need Delicas, size 11O. Okay, odd peyote. I did this one. It is 15 wide, but it will be embellished on the side, so it will be a little bit wider. But you can do 17 or 19. And the thing is with odd peyote, people start to get scared when you say odd peyote. Um, even, uh, uh, even at um, Sabine's last weekend, last Friday, there she explained that these little tubes are made with peyote. This is the peyote stitch right in the middle. And then she said, but don't worry, it's not odd peyote. And everybody gave this very deep sigh. Now, I personally understand that because I have seen a lot of tutorials on the odd peyote and people are very very confusing. Everybody has their own way of doing it and let me show you how I do it. I will show you a way that will make you laugh in the face of peyote. If you ever were afraid of it you will never be afraid of it again and if you haven't learned it yet I'm gonna learn it so you'll never even fear it. When other people start talking about odd peyote how difficult it is you can just laugh and just smile and say not really. Oh, I got that totally under control. So, I'm going to use three colors. Uh, 
as I did with this one, I got three colors. I got a size 11 O uh, Delica bead, a size 11 O Delica bead. So that's the second color. And I got some size 15 O seed beads. And I'm going to do a yellow um, bicone in the middle there. So I'm going to make two of these bracelets actually. But this one will not be finished for a while. Just going to use a little part of it to uh, decorate the sides and design that. So, But to finish, if you have my wrist, to finish this, you're about this far. It takes about four arm spans of thread. But you can do two, you know. Like the even peyote, you can just um, finish that up the way the other one was finished up. You know, just go... When you're with the end of your thread, just go diagonal or just go in. If you bump in, if you finish here, you might bump into your bicone. Just kind of go a couple of like that and then just kind of cross over, go like that and then just finish up like that and just work that thread away. Anyway, at peyote, let's set up using my tulip needle. Used it for this project and it's a little bend but not as bent as my um, John James would have been. However, uh, yeah, the length, I prefer the John James length, I do have to say that. The ends, John James is a little bit sharper at the end. So these are good needles, they're just short. I would like uh, to see a longer version. But anyway, um, also the thread goes through very easily. The John James eyes, yeah, they're a little bit more difficult to get through. But anyway, let's start the uh, uh, let's start the art uh, peyote, and let's start set up with fifteen. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Pull that down. Double check. Five, ten, fifteen. Leave a little bit of tail so that you can go through there again. And we start this off with just a regular peyote. If you already did the even peyote, then this is the same. Get one on the, be on the needle, skip one, go into the next one, and push that needle through. And you'll get that little triangle, so just make sure you position that right. Got that little triangle right here. Okay, skip one. Grab one, go through the next one, pull it through, keep your fingers on there so everything stays in place. And make sure that that's positioned right. And now we have two. Okay, skip one, pick one up, go into the next one, pull it through. and pull it tight. At three, skip one. Pick one up, go through it, and pull it tight. You do this all the way till the end. When you're gonna come to the conclusion that you can pick one up, but you can't go through one anymore. So, skip, in, through, skip, pick, in, through, pull, and make sure that everything is positioned correctly. Okay, now you got one left. Pick it up, pull it down, and go backwards into the last one.
Okay, we need to get our threat here. So we're gonna go into the middle one, right there, and this is only the first row. When we uh, get uh, to the fourth row, or the third row actually, then it's gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so we went through the middle one, the one below first, and then the middle one. Now we're going to the bottom one again. And now we're going to turn back into three, which is, let me see, the top one here, the middle one, and the bottom one. So this is only the first time when you set it up, okay? We're not going to do this time and time again. So I'm going to pull that through. And now both threads come out of the same seed bead, or a Delica bead actually. And now we're going to go back in the second row. And we're going to turn that around and straighten that out. And now it's just basically doing the regular peyote again. So pick one up, go into the next one that sticks out. Pull it through, pick one up, next one that sticks out, pull it through, pick one up, next one that sticks out, pull it through, pick one up, next one, pull it through, pick one up, next one. Pull it through, pick one up, push it through, pull it through, and now you will see that this side will end like the regular peyote ends, like the even peyote ends. So it's very simple, you just turn it around, and now you're going to go to the uneven end again. So going through. And going through all the way to the other end. Okay. Now we're adding the last one and we're going, supposedly supposed to go in here and then we need to add another one. But we're going to go through two like that. I'm going to turn it around and those of you who made rim bands, you can do this. Pick up and do a ladder stitch. Which means which means go in backwards to that last delica bead. Pull it through. Go back in that delica. And you're good to go. Look. That's all there is to it, except for the very first one, the setup. You gotta make sure that everything is connected and everything is tight and nothing can happen there. But now you can just go to the other side again. Okay. Now the cool thing is, when you do the, let me say, hard part, you get to the middle of your project. So you put on one, two, three. Now you are in the middle. At a different color Delica bead, also size 11. And go with silver seed beads. One, two, and three.
So now you got a purple seed bead right there in the middle. So I've got it turned around and start again with one silver. two silver three silver and now we bump into that purple one so we're gonna snug up a purple one next to it that's one there And another one above it. And now you got three. Making like a little diamond shape. So, three seed beads, silver. One. Two. Push that through. The last two uh, delica beads. That's two. Turn it around. Pick up your Delica bead, go into the last one, push back in there, pull that through. And into that Delica bead. And this is three. As you can see, that completes this row. So now we're going to take one silver take two well actually take another one silver get a purple one to hug up with the other one and now we're going to drop a stitch basically that means we're not going straight we're going one lower which would be the middle seed bead the purple seed bead And then we're going into the purple seed bead again, the one that's on top. And when we come out of that purple, we add another purple, going into the silver, and also two silver. One, and two. And now we're at the end again, no difficulties here turning it around, starting again, one silver, another silver, a purple to snug up to that one, and now we're going to drop two stitches, which basically means go down two seed beads to the side. So just stay in your purples. Just go down in your purples or up in your purples. Into those purples. And up the other two purples. And now we need another purple to snuck up above. So we're going to pick up another purple. And we need two silver to finish up. So that's one going down in two because we're on the short end again. Turn that around. Pick up that Delica. Go into that last Delica. Push it through. And in. So tell me, how hard is that? I mean, can you understand why people sh shiver and shake when they say Ad Piotti? Uh, I can't, but if you see several other videos on Ad Piotti, you will understand. Okay, next part, one silver. One purple, and we go into one purple now, because we're going to add the bicone gonna pick up a size 15 O seed bead, a 4 millimeter bicone, a size 15 O seed bead, and we're gonna go into the last purple on the other side. 
pull that through. And now we're going to pick up another purple and go into the silver seed bead. And we're going to pick up a silver seed bead at the end. Pull that through. And this is the regular side, so we just turn it around. Pick up a silver seed bead. And make sure that when you do that, what I just did, everything is still tight. Pick up another silver seed bead. Go into the less purple one right there. Pull that through. Now get a purple one and go into the seed bead, the 15, and the seed bead again. Come on out to seed bead size 15. Get a purple bead on there. Go into the purple. Come on out of the purple. And now we just do the silver bead again. And you gotta stick in two because you're on that other side. Turn it around, grab it, back in the last one, pull it through and go in there. Now we're going to go pick up a silver and we're just going to mirror what we did on the other side. Pick up another silver, go into the purple bead. Now you have these two delicates that are already mirroring each other and these two also mirror each other. So you need the size that's in between there. So that's one, two, three, four, five seed beads, uh, five delica beads. So that's one, two, three, four, five delica beads and go into the delica bead on the other side right there. Now pick up another silver, go into the silver, pick up another silver, go into the silver, turn it around because this is the simple side, pick up a silver, go into the silver, pick up a silver, go into the silver, and here comes the tricky part. Pick up a silver and go into that, from that uh, point here, that's one, that's two underneath the bicone, that will be three. Go into that third one and just push your needle through three purple Delica beads. Now push your needle through two purple Delica beads above that. So that made it, you went through a total of five. Pull it through. Grab your silver and go into your silver right here. This is the one that's sticking out. Pull it through. And just finish the row. Silver, two, turn it around, ladder stitch, back in there, pull through, and back up, and pull it through. So, silver, into the silver, Silver into the silver, now you got this one that you need to skip over and this one you need to go in, so when you look above it, skip one purple one, go into the next with a silver, silver, 
and push it on through. Come on out after you pushed through three of them, three purple ones. So pull that, get that seat bead in order, pull it hard so it doesn't uh, look crooked and get a seat bead, go into silver and finish up your row again. Two. And three. And this is the simple side. Well, actually both sides are pretty simple now, aren't they? And we're gonna go again. Silver. 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 And now we got a silver that needs to go in the middle one of these three. So we gotta pick up just the middle one. It's gonna be a little hard. But make sure you get it. Pull it through and as you can see that's crooked so make sure you pull that tight. Get another seal for seed bead and start going to the end again. One, two, three, go to two, Turn it around, ladder stitch. There we go. So I've got to turn around and start again with one silver, two silver. Pull that through. And into that delicate bead. And this is three. As you can see, that completes this row. So now we're going to take one silver, take two. Well, actually, take another one, silver. Get a purple one to hug up with the other one. And now we're going to drop a stitch. Basically, that means we're not going straight. We're going one lower, which would be the middle seat bead, the purple seat bead. And then we're going into the purple seed bead again, the one that's on top, and then we're going to do two silver, one or three, And when we come out of that purple, we add another purple, 
going into the silver and also two silver one 